It's a rainy day. We're in the car. I didn't sleep so well. I'm like, wake up, wake up. We have food though. I was supposed to wake up at 6.30 today. Stefan woke me up at 7.10. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we got out of the house like 45 minutes later than we wanted to. So we're stuck in traffic. Yeah, I just had a really bad night's sleep last night. There was a lot going on in my mind. There were a lot of things buzzing around in there and I just couldn't seem to really like get a proper night's sleep last night. Stefan and I just stopped for gas and I saw a sign advertising some food inside the, the rest area and it said that in there you could get Schweinelachs. Schweinelachs. Yeah. Which to me sounds like pork salmon because lax is salmon, right? Like lax. Lax auf Deutsch. Lox, L-O-X in English. Lox, that's salmon. And this was Schweinelox. So that's like pork salmon. So I have learned something new today. I have learned that Schweinelox is a thing. And Mr. German Man assures me that it is not actually some cross between pork and salmon. That Schweinelox is simply a piece of pork. Yes. Now I don't know why they just don't call it. He's a fork. Yeah. Uh, Schweinstück. Schweinstück. Oh, I notice I'm a bit blown out now. Hmm. I only noticed that just now. This is a new camera. This is our first day with it. So I would need to make it darker. Ah, that's a lot better. Sorry about that. Stopped at a rest area to get something to drink and... Yeah, just get out of the car for a second. I'm outside and Stefan went in to get the drinks. I think a coffee for him and a soda for me. We have stopped again. You, sometimes Stefan and I can drive from Munich to his mom in the Cologne area with like very few stops. This trip, we're driving a total of four hours and I think we've stopped like three times already. Anyway, here we are. There's some woods behind me. Stefan and I, uh, in the car, we were having a little chat in German and I invented a brand new word, Redungspunkt, which at first I thought was going to be die Redungspunkt, but Stefan informed me that no, the new word that I invented was definitely der Redungspunkt. So it's der Redungspunkt and it is like, you know, the point of what you're talking about. Der Redungspunkt. Like the main thing that you're talking about. I think this should be a German word. I can't believe that der Redungspunkt does not exist already. Maybe it does. I haven't checked the dictionary, but Stefan didn't know it. He said it was a new word. So der Redungspunkt. It is now a thing. Stefan? Yes. You're gonna help me make Redungspunkt a thing, right? Like. No. You're not with me in this? Redungspunkt is a great word. I can't get you on camera because my arm's not long enough. I'm gonna make this thing a, a thing. Redungspunkt. It's the new word. We're now having the fourth stop during our four hour drive. Mm -hmm. I mentioned before. Um, at the, the third stop, the last one that we made, sometimes we go from here to see your mom in the Cologne area with very few stops. This is a four hour drive and we're making the fourth stop. Um, so yeah, we are 
kilometers away now from seeing Trixie from the YouTube channel Don't Trust the Rabbit. We are driving to visit her near Frankfurt and yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really looking forward to seeing her. I don't think I've seen Trixie since 2016, I think. Since then we've done some collaboration videos together, uh, but not in person, you know? So I'm really looking forward to seeing her. Trixie, if you watch this video, hi! I'm really excited to see you and we're almost there. Of course, when this video comes out, we will have already been there. But anyway, at this point, we're almost there. I made it here and yeah, we just filmed one video together for my channel and now we're gonna film one for Trixie's channel. It's so good to see you. I'm So I'm waiting for Donna and I wish you a good morning. Oh, it can't focus so close. I don't know where she is. It's pretty chilly out there today. I was wondering oh. if you knew where the car was. <laughs> I did know where the car was. I'm here. I left you a nice small video there. Really? Mm -hmm. For the vlog or just for me personally? For the vlog, if oh. you want to use it. Okay, cool. I'm excited and curious to see what it is. By the way, shout out to my mom who made this bag for me. Hi mom, I love it. Oh, I got my hair caught in my purse. Oh no, oh no. I got shout it out to in... your mom. Oh no, I got it caught in the zipper. That's not my mom's fault, that's my fault. Oh no, it is, it is all caught in the zipper. Oh no. Oh no, I think I just have to cut it. Oh my God, oh, you freed it. You freed it, thank you. I made up a new German word. Really? Yes. What is it? It's Redungspunkt. Redungspunkt? Can you guess what I might mean by that? Like, mein Redungspunkt war. Like the point you try to get across? Yeah, exactly, Redungspunkt. Makes sense. Yeah. So that's that's the new German word. Nice. At first I wanted it to be die Redungspunkt, but Stefan told me it's der Redungspunkt. Mm -hmm. Yep, I agree. Okay. <laughs> so, so FYI, it now exists. Like okay. you're, you know, just I'm when you know. I'm going to spread it. Yeah. I'm going to so, keep using it. Exactly. Now you know it. I have passed it along. Okay. All right. So now, okay. Morning. Good morning. You want to wake up? It's eight o'clock. Okay. I'm waking up. Okay. I had such a nice time yesterday with Christy and Eric and the day before. Cool. Bye. <laughs>
Trixie, if you're watching this, I miss you already. It was such a great trip. So my question for you is, what do you think of the word Redungspunkt and any chance you're going to start using it? Please let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, Auf Wiedersehen! Want to watch another video? Here are two. And a really, really, really big thank you so much to our patrons on Patreon who help make these videos possible. Thank you so much for your support.